Hi. Did you miss me? Right. I don't know what's going on with my hair. I don't like it. Um, right. It looks lovely when I do it first thing in the morning and it goes like this. Right. I uh, can't get into Sarah's house. So um, the, there are no boys there or no boys answering the door. The door is locked and Sarah is between here and where is she? Between here and Peterborough because she's just finished on the telly. Yeah, I don't know. I look a little wild these days at home. Um, my fringe, I do it and it's lovely in the morning and then I was working so I put it all out and it's just gone. So, um, I can talk you through what I was going to do but there is no sewing. <laughs> I'm worry about my hair. It'd be better if I just turn the camera around, wouldn't it? So, um, hiya Anne, hiya uh, Heather, how are you doing? Um, I was just explaining, I can't get into Sarah's house she's um she's midway and uh last year she had my key off me so i can't get into her house so um we're just going to do it here i was just going to talk you through it i have part made things so um it's a really easy pattern now um we were going to do uh, a doorstop so, and I did a class on this when we first opened. So it's a very rough and ready pattern. Look at this. See? Look. It's like Pee Wee Herman. Um, uh, so it's a, a rough and ready pattern, but it's a really easy one to do. Okay. Hiya, Cindy. How are you? And Leslie and Carolyn. Long time no speak, Carolyn. Sorry, I haven't had a chance to have a look at that. Um, so uh, we shall... Um, we shall have another look at that at a later date. I will talk to Sean. Uh, right, first things, there was a lady from up Pontyway came, uh, rang me this morning and asked me about William Morris. Now, we haven't had any William Morris fabric in for a while. She was going to have a word with her friends because she doesn't do Facebook. But if you're one of the lady's friends, they are the group that I went and picked them up from the station last year in the summer. Um, because they got lost so I just got in the car and went and fetched them um, which is a service that we offer if there is enough staff um, so anyway if if somebody is watching that knows this lady ask, uh, tell her if she has no um, luck Calico Kate in Lampeter might be an idea to give them a ring they might have the fabric that they need hi right we are packing for Hachanda. It has gone wild. I don't know whether Hachanda, Crate and Craft. I don't know whether you watched the shows. They were brilliant. I was giggling like mad. I was lying in bed watching the first one. Shh, I was in bed. And um, I was desperate for a wee. You know what it's like when you wake up. Um, Dave was next to me snoring a right one. So I couldn't sleep. And I thought, oh, Sarah's on. I did that. Well, I was giggling. The pair of them together are just, well, it's Morecambe and Wise. It's now Keir Smith and May. So it's really good. It was, yes, they went really well and they really sold out. Um, so Linda and I are here trying to get these things all packaged up so that we can get a move on with all that. So everything sold out before I could order. They are great shows. Keep an eye then, Denise. Um, on our social medias because sometimes the packs that are opened on the show or whatever they might go on our go and go and gone on the website um if you've been looking for a uh, fabric uh, all those ones in the bags they're the ones that we brought back from newark and um i've not had a chance to put them onto the computer yet so i've taken them all off if you do order something and we don't have it I would just like to apologise profusely that uh, we probably sold it there. Uh, so we will, that will be my job next week is to get all that on. Right, door stops. Calico Kate, look, brilliant shop. It's wonderful. And she has a William Morris room. I mean, it's a room full of all the William Morris. She doesn't um, get rid of anything. So if anybody's going to have that fabric, 
if it's not one of your friends, it's going to be that lady. So I tried to ring her back and I got completely worried somebody else instead. OK, door stops. Now, these are the templates, right? As you can see, they are very rough and ready um, and really big, easy patterns. Oh, I'm missing one. Hang on. I'm missing one. There's a body as well. Oh, we can't do it anyway. There's a body. And you can see that I've got two heads. So you can do a cat or a dog. And all you do is sellotape it to the body and then cut it out. Okay. So you've got a tail. It says leg. Cut four. Oh, yeah. Cut four. I'm thinking it only has two legs. Why would you cut four? But you're going to do a front and back of the leg and you cut two of the tail. Now, my drawings are always very suspect when it comes to tails and things. Now, I've done a rounded tail or a straight, you know, a pointed tail. So all you do is you cut out your fabric on these, OK? And then you've got muzzles. Now, I don't have a dog to show you. So we're doing cats, OK? So I've got half... <laughs> finished cats and things this is probably just I should probably just go back to packing packing things away now you've cut out your two um cat pieces okay so just plain cat piece there is a body but I, I don't know what happened to it it's probably still at home somewhere I did print it out and it's it takes up the whole of this okay the whole of that one and it's the body so when you've sewn them together you go up and round you're going to box the corners so if you watch any of sarah's online thingies uh, that she's been doing over there she's done box corners on a lot of things this this last 24 hours so you box the corners which will go is going to give you a bottom all right, and you're going to stuff it really, really hard. You want it so that it's there's no give. It's not a soft toy, okay? I did print it. Uh, no idea where it is, Anne. No idea whatsoever. We're going to do a muzzle, okay? So I've cut out the cat muzzle, and I've actually sewn all the way around it. And because it's... Um, all right, yeah, um, because this is uh, going to be sewn on, <laughs> here's one I made earlier, because it's going to be sewn on, you can cut it, you can sew all the way round. You haven't got to top stitch it or anything, so you can sew all the way round. Then you put a little cut in the back, pull it through, okay? You want to pink in shears or put in nicks, notches, all the way around these circles. If it goes out, you want a notch. If, you, if your curve goes in, you want to snip into it. Um, if in doubt, notch it, okay? Pink and shear it. And then you're gonna stuff that. This one, you're going to put a running stitch bit like um oh, we did buttons or um flowers you're going to do a running stitch all the way round pull it in so it closes and stuff it and so you end up with a little button nose like that okay you see like this and then you're going to sew in some whiskers and sew him to the face, okay? Now, this is just sewn slightly. I would finish that by sewing him all the way round, depending on how mobile you want it to be, doesn't it, really? Now, the legs, you've, you've got your, the bottom. Now, this one I haven't uh, stuffed. Um, finished. I've got a sandbag. 
Now I've used calico sand. If you put the sand in the microwave and warm it through, it kills any bugs on it. Um, we use play sand, okay? So uh, if you go to places uh, which sell play sand and buy a bag of that, that would be um, the best sand. Dry it out, uh, either put it on a tray and dry it out in the sun. You can see how long this has been. It's been about two years since I looked in this bag. Um, so this, before you finish sewing it up at the bottom, if you stuff that, put that in and then stuff around it and finish the bottom up, then it will give you a heavy, you want it heavy for a doorstop, don't you? Um, you sew the legs on, the front. So I've got, see what I mean? About being really easy. You would sew these legs on at the front and your tail, <laughs> how's that for a tail? Look at that. Your tail is going to sit on the back of your cat. So you're going to put it so that it sits like that and sew it on as far up as you want. Just go in and do a, a stitch. And with the legs and the tail, it makes it more stable. It's like tripoding it. Okay, so you can see when he's finished, he would look like that. <laughs> he won't stay up now. Why won't it stay up? Oh, there we are. It's because he wants his tail that way. So that would be your doorstop when it's finished. Now we do have eyes. We have, uh, they're not on the website, so if you wanted eyes, you could give us a ring. But we've got sew on eyes, so in various sizes. We also have googly eyes. We have noses, because how would they smell? We have big black eyes, small eyes, teddy bear eyes, proper noses, googly eyes. So we've got a fair selection. Uh, if ever you want any, uh, just give us a ring. Those are our buttons by there. But because we can't keep it... Um... Hi, Cheryl's friends. <laughs> um, because we can't keep uh, them stocked, you, you know, the stock take, uh, we don't tend to put them on. Why is everybody crying? Um, so that's that's the, your cat okay <laughs> there is no pattern there is just templates it's two quid for the templates if you want to give it a go i mean that is very i mean like i say these are very old um you there are plenty of patterns out there for doorstops sarah was going to do a chicken so maybe she'll do that when she comes back she'll do a chicken one as well and she'll explain a lot better than i do um so have a look at it and you too could have a smelly cat the one from friends you know smelly cat smelly cat anyway that's your doorstop i'm just my brain is so frazzled and i'm lost so i'm gonna go now because um we're gonna carry on packing and we'll be back it'll be me next week i will do um we're going to do you're in on wednesday aren't you linda yeah. so i'll be doing tuesday and wednesday i'll uh so it'll be block of the week on wednesday and um something on tuesday and then thursday look it's just all just it's going out i think because my brain's frazzled my hair is frazzled as well um and we'll do a walk around in the shop hopefully by thursday everything will be on and i'll be able to talk you through all the stuff that's on sale and everything because i don't have a body here to look after the shop for me to go over to sarah's so um <laughs> thank you Anne. um we are going to go and do that and i'm going to say goodbye and if you need more white gecko stuff go back on our facebook page you will find all of the stuff on the facebook page and it's all been uploaded to youtube now as well so you'll be able to find us on youtube 
so uh i'll take take care have a good weekend and i'll see you soon bye